everybody, how are you? It's Leslie McGrath from Scrapping Life Away. How are you? I am here to do my very first design team project for Cindy Signs Utter Explorations of Me. I'm very excited. I have looked forward to this project for a very long time. Uh, today's prompt is New Beginnings, which is perfect for January and it can be we can interpret it many different ways we can interpret it um, as a spiritual new beginning um, a new beginning with our art um, a new financial beginning or a new beginning um, of a personal nature and I always kind of feel like every day is a new art beginning because I feel like I'm always learning every day and striving to learn about my art every day so today's um, project is going to be based on something that's a little bit more personal. Um, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail um, about the personal aspect of it per se. Um, the page that we're going to start working on, is I have already pre-gessoed it. So as I said, this um, journal page is going to be more of a personal nature and the one thing I've learned um, about journaling is that it is so cathartic it's very very it can be very healthy it can be very cathartic it can help you work through many many things um, that's one of the joys of art journaling um, in the past um, I have always journaled and then actually burnt my journals um, because it was just my way of dealing with what I needed to deal with and then poof, burn them up but this time what I have done um, or what I'm going to do this is um, I'm going to leave it face down because I really don't want there's no need for you to see what's written here um, is a very negative um, message that I had received from somebody and it was um, like I said it, it it was just um, very negative very nasty um, this person is a bully so we're going to deal with this bully so the one thing I'm going to do the best thing that you can do is rip it up rip it up so I have, um, and I'm going to bring you out because I don't think you really need to see a whole lot of this. Um, this is what I think of that message that was sent to me. All right, so I'm going to finish ripping this up and then I'm going to glue it down. And then when I'm done, I'll be back. Thanks. Whoa, I'm dropping things here. All right, so the one thing I wanted to bring to your attention um, while I'm getting my, my art guard on here on my hands is that, you know, the prompt is about new beginnings. Um, and for me, it's a personal new beginning, kind of sort of personal. I mean, um, it is personal, but you know, the term new beginning does not necessarily mean it has to start at the beginning of the year. A new beginning can be every morning. You can have a chance at a new beginning or, you know, every week, every month, um, the next five minutes could be, um, a new beginning. It doesn't necessarily have to be, um, at the beginning of the of the beginning of the new year, um, it's a good time to think about new beginnings at the new year, at the beginning of the new year, because everything is kind of new. But um, you know, I can remember for me actually a new beginning really started when I turned forty, and um, it was just a new beginning, a new not a new identity for me, but a coming of age, I guess I should say. And in doing what I'm doing here, um, I'm kind of taking back my identity because I feel that 
um, I let this person really get under my skin a little bit and this person doesn't deserve to be under my skin um, they haven't earned they haven't earned the right <laughs> to do that um, nobody has the right to do that let alone this person so the first thing I'm gonna do and mind you I've covered this up because I really don't want um, I don't want any of it to really um, be out there too much I'm using the deco art tradition um, acrylic paint in carbon black and yes I did get some on my thumb and I am going to use this stencil it's the new one oh it's hard to see isn't it let me see I don't have any colored paper right by me let me try this there you can see that a little bit better um, this is the new stencil um, by Gina Ahrens. It should be available in her Etsy store probably around February 1st. I think she was hoping that it would be available and I'll link down to that in the description below. But the one thing I want to do is I want to put some X's on this because everything in this is just kind of a fallacy. It's wrong number wrong it's number one it's wrong to bully people with words it's it's just well you know being a bully is just flat out wrong and this person is supposed to be an adult well not in my book far from it age does not bring maturity you hope it does but um, oh if I didn't tell you this paper has already been um, well in the last scene you saw me um, tear it up and then um, what I did was I then glued it down using my uh, simply acrylic matte medium by De La Rowney. but I just want to get some um, of these on here because I want to show that this is a I'm a teacher Ooh, I don't like the way that looks I'm a teacher and you know what when people do when when kids do things wrong um, like if you're grading a paper what do you put on it big old fat X ah the joys of matte medium look at that came right off So I'm Xing all over this because it's wrong. You know, if you uh, if you don't like something someone does, well, that's still kind of a mess, but that's all right. I don't care. You know what? Talk to them about it. Oh, I see why that's doing that because need another baby wipe yes I'm wasteful with baby wipes I admit it I know it I'm a baby wipe I use a lot of them wait a minute Let me put this over here I go through baby wipes like crazy maybe this will give me clearer X's doesn't help that the color is black Ay, ay, ay. Um, but as I was saying, you know, if you uh, if you disagree with somebody on something, hey, you know what? More power to you. You're allowed to your own opinion. But you know what? You do not bully people. Do not let yourself get bullied. Um, I think that's. Um, really become a huge part of our society is that to stand up to bullying and you're not going to take it anymore and you know what I'm not going to take it anymore and I'll tell you what you know a bully is only a bully if you let them bully you 
And what I mean by that, too, is that, you know, bullies think that they're pulling a fast one. They think that nobody's on to them. Well, I got news for you. You know what? You can bully as much as you want, whether you believe you're bullying or not, is not the point. Um, let me just say this. People aren't as dumb as you think they are. And um, people are on to you. <laughs> and if they're not, they'll catch on to you pretty quick. So, you know, that... Um, If we, don't think you're alone because people are going to find out and they're going to realize and you're not going to get away with it much longer and actually you're really not getting away with it because um, people are already pretty well aware of what kind of person you are if you're a bully because you can only hide that kind of behavior for so long before fi someone finally says hey what the heck <laughs> So, all right, I am going to dry this up and um, clean the paint off my hands, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got that all dried up. Now, what I'm going to do, whoa, boy, that needs to be cleaned. Look how dirty that is. How dirty that is, excuse me. Ugh. All right, I'm going to take my acrylic gesso. I'm going to pour some of that on here. I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm just going to paint right over this. Goodbye. So long. You know, this is a really great way to that, you know, if you have a journal that um, you write things in that you know you want to deal with. Well, you, you <laughs> best thing to do, my gosh, journal it, write it down, and then art over it. Get it, get it out, get it out of your system, and be done with it. Allow yourself to move on. Okay, now that I've done that, <laughs> I want to make some marks in my gesso, if I can. This paper is a little bit wonky. I wonder if I should have gone the other direction. That way you really can't see the words, but you can just see that there are words under there. I like that. Taking something ugly and made some beautiful texture out of it. Stick that in there to rinse. Okay, let me dry this up. And I'll be back. Okay, this is all dried up and ready to go. And I've got out my um, some Delusions paints. This one is London Blue. Can you see that? London Blue. I like to take the paint and use it out of the lid. And I am going to color this whole, I'm going to paint this whole page. London blue because it's bright and I think it's a pretty color blue so I guess I just want y'all to think about what's new for you What's something that you could do that's new for you? And like I said, it doesn't have to be something that you decide, I'm going to do this all year long. This is my new personal um, change that I'm going to make for the whole year. What's, 
What's new for you for today? What's new for you for this hour? Ooh, I should put something underneath that because I'm going to get all my other pages underneath here blue. But what's new? What's new for you? I know for some of my friends it's a new home, a new state. For me it, this year it was a new job. And those are transitions that are hard. But what's new? What's new for you? Or what can you make new? What do you need to make new? What changes do you need to make? What's new? I love that when a friend comes up to me and says, hey, what's new? Sit down, you got about five hours? I can tell you a lot of things that are new. <laughs> But I think a lot of times when people say that, they really want, they're saying that because they would like an opportunity to tell you what's new in their lives. And maybe that's something that you can make new, is that you're going to take an opportunity to listen more to what friends are saying. What's new? Okay, let me dry this up. Okay, that is all dried up. And that is really blue and it's really bright, but let's see if I can bend this so you can see. Look at the texture on that. Can you see the texture that the scraping tool left on the gesso? It almost looks like it's crackled, which is really cool. But this is really, really blue. So one of the things about mixed media is it's all about layers. So call me crazy but I'm going to take this one color here I'm going to take some orange I'm just going to add some marks yeah, it doesn't help if this is I'm just trying to grab those um, some of those pieces that are sticking up really adds a cool look to it. It really, really does. Okay. I'm liking that. I think I want to add just a had, and I mean literally a drop of the white gesso. Just to bring a little more light. Because like I said, this blue is really bright. I don't know, this may end up being an epic fail, but actually, no, I really don't think there is such a thing as a fail. That was just kind of a, whew. see, I got some globs on my roller. Well, that's not going to help me this off a little bit. There we go. Much better. Much better. Much better kind of breaks up that blue a little bit. You can see 
I tried to get better lights when I rearranged my room. Um, kinda, it is what it is. I don't think I could talk my husband into helping me to rearrange this room anymore. <laughs> but the lights are what they are. That's as good as it's going to get for now. Okay. Now, it needs something else. I'm not sure what yet. Let me take a look around my room and I'll be right back. Okay, this is still just too bright and too blue for me. So we're going to bring that down a little bit. And of course I got too much on my... I always seem to dump too much out of that, my gesso. It seems to be too much comes out. Well, if this doesn't work, I can always take a brush and try and tone that blue down. Because I have some stencils that I've pulled out and some wording is going to go on this. This is basically just a background that I'm creating. I don't want to do too much because I really, I just love this texture that those, um, this tool that I used was given to me by um, when I made the scraping marks. Um, I love this. It says FX Effects. It's a number eight. It almost looks like something that's made by Darice. I'm not positive, but she gave me two of them. She gifted me with these. Aren't these cool? They're so cool. And I'm telling you, hey, Cindy, those things make some awesome texture. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. The wording is going to be in black, so I really want to try and lighten the rest of this up as much as I possibly can. This texture right up here, those lines, and you can see the same thing over here. Love it. So cool. Yeah, they really come out more when I go this way. Yeah, I'm liking this. Okay, I think. I think I've got this lightened up. All right, now, enough. Lightened up enough. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is the stencil that I'm going to put on here, I think I'm going to draw it. I'm going to trace it by hand um, because it's a brand new stencil and I've ne I don't want to ruin this. So I think what I may end up doing is tracing it by hand on here and then going in and painting it with a paintbrush. But let me see how it lays down first. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have decided to stencil it using a stencil brush and the same black paint that I had used to make those wonderful X's. Looks pretty good. see how this looks. Let's pull this back. Love life. Yep, 
I like that very much. And I did kind of tape this on the back here just to give it a little bit of stability because the paper, um, this is a little wonky, meaning it's not completely flat because of all the different mediums I've put on there and everything. It's kind of dried a little wavy. Get the tape off of this. Let this dry somewhere, where? I'm not sure, I'll set it over here. Okay, now I think somewhere I have a very thin brush. All right, I'm gonna go over this and clean up the lines on this with a very thin brush here and clean it up and I'll be back. Okay, call me crazy, but I think it needs a little more. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a sponge. I need to dab off on something. You know, texture, nothing wrong with it. A little bit more here, a little bit more there. I mean, all it is is paint, right? This is a stencil that was um, sent to me. I got this really great Happy Mail package from my two girlfriends, Cindy and Gina. And it was full of stencils. And this was one of them. As a matter of fact, this Love Life uh, was one of the stencils that they sent me. There we go. I hope you do not hear that car rubbing in the background. I think a teenager on the street has gotten a new car that makes a lot of noise and it drives me crazy. Now I'll bring this up closer to you because I'm seeing the change that it's making just here. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see it on a camera. So I want to make sure to bring that back up so that you can see it. I am definitely loving this. And I don't want to go too crazy with it. Bring you in a little bit. You know, it's probably easier to bring you in than for me to keep lifting this up. over just a tad. Can you see that? There we go. It's a little bit better. That yellow just kind of makes it pop a little bit. It kind of, it, it pushes, the white and the yellow really push that blue back into the background, but yet you can still see the texture from the uh, gesso that uh, from underneath that I scraped. Um, that just added a really nice, a nice texture to it. Um, and actually there's, what I think I want to do, I know this sounds really crazy, but I think I want to put like something in the love life. All right, let me look around and see what I've got. Be right back. Okay, call me crazy, but I think this needs some hot pink. 
I don't know if you're into for no, that's you're too far out. There you go. I'm not gonna go crazy with it, I promise. I promise. I'm gonna try and do this without getting my arm in the yellow. And I am using um, Dilution's um, Bubblegum Pink. All right. I am going to go through and do all of this <laughs> in the Bubblegum Pink. I'm sure you're all just thrilled and wanting to watch me put polka dots all over this. So I'm going to go ahead. Well, you know what? You can't. I don't even think you can see that, can you? Hold on. Bring this up, and I don't want to get my book in the paint. I guess that's kind of hard for you to see, but trust me, it's bubblegum pink on top of the black and the pink really pops. Just like that. Just uh, adds a little something so that black is not quite so stark. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and I'll be back. Alrighty. My pink dots are on there and I think it looks fantastic. So the only thing I have left to do is to put my special mark on this. I have been looking, this particular stamp that I'm about to put on here, um, I had been looking for forever. I had lost it and I was so happy when I found it again. It was like a long lost friend coming home. I just want to make sure it prints okay. It does. I had to call my one girlfriend, Cindy, all the way out in New York. It's like, you'll never guess what I found. My butterfly stamp. Uh, a little bit off on the corner there. There we go. Perfect. Now I know it's mine. And then I just have to sign it and date it right here. And today's date is my son's 26th birthday. One, eight, 18. Boy, I almost wrote 17. All right, friends, there you have it. My first project for Explorations of Me, and it is Love Life. What is your plan going to be? What is your, what is your goal? What's your goal for the next five minutes? What's the goal for the next day? Doesn't necessarily have to be for the year, but what's your plan? Mine, I'm going to love life. And I'm going to follow my heart and trust my heart. And that's all I can say. So have a great day, everybody. Have a great night. Have a great week. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope I inspired you to do something creative. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.